Welcome back to our video series with the Wapla County Conservation Board. We're back again with a site visit for you. This one should look a little bit familiar. We've done a lot of our uh, summer programs up here for this video series. This is the Eddyville Sand Prairie. A lot of people know this prairie if they haven't visited just because they heard about all the extra money it cost our county to put in the, the highway around it. Um, and so we get a lot of questions about why this area is so important and why it's so different that you couldn't build a highway through it. One of the reasons is it's a sand prairie and this is a, a pretty rare habitat. And that means it's also home to some rare plants and animals that we don't find in other areas throughout the counties and actually throughout the state. This sand would have come from the river valley. So after the glaciers melted, they left a lot of sand deposit behind. That was blown over from the river valley into these dunes. And then of course, over time, these plants have taken over and held these dunes in place. So it's an old habitat. Um, some of it's farmed. I don't think it's the best farm ground because it's very well drained. And because of that well drained soil, you get some plants that you wouldn't expect. And that would be the prickly pear cactus. And cactus is found in very few places around the state of Iowa because you don't have the sand prairie. You have the hoary pacoon. We've got six lined race runners. Um, they found a ring neck snake when they were doing studies here. Also home to the endangered pale green orchid and the threatened species of ornate box turtle. And if you remember, we did release a couple of those here this summer. So do they exist here? Yes, they've been found here. Are you going to see them on a regular basis? Probably not. They're going to hide from you. They don't want anything to do with you. But this area is uh, over 200 acres. It's got an educational trail around it, so Lime Chip Trail just over a mile in length, and it loops around. Uh, educational signs around it that are gonna tell you a little bit more about the plants and animals you're gonna find here and the habitat in general. This area is also open for hunting, bow hunting only for turkey and deer. Other animals you'll find here, rabbit, pheasant, lots of prairie species of birds, uh, prairie plants, and just this morning we saw some coyotes running around. So you're gonna see a lot of animals here. You can stay on the trail, you can use our, use our mode fire breaks, but pretty neat area to explore. Just behind the high school in Eddyville, so pretty easy to find. So if you're looking for something a little different that's gonna give you some plants and animals you're not gonna see in other places, uh, this is a good spot to be. So come out to Eddyville any time of year, check it out, and until the flowers bloom here again in the spring. Just enjoy the wildlife.